Um, what's Boyd's biggest challenge in this new season? Getting my beautiful Ava Crowder out of prison, and then and then and then just kind of dealing with with uh, with with his impotence, man. Like like dealing like up against the system, not having having failed it. Like not not having all of the answers. And it's a man who has every answer before he walks into the room. I was surprised you're not wearing orange. <laughs> in, in the show, I mean. Season. My costume designer promised me that we would not be wearing orange. That's good. So, you know, I've seen the first couple episodes, so I know, you know, you're in prison. Do we get to see your life in prison very much as the season rolls on? Yeah, they tease with it a little bit in the beginning of the season, and without giving anything away, something, there's a bad twist in there. And so, yeah, she goes deeper within the system. <laughs> In this show, I feel like as a viewer, you're always kind of waiting for that other shoe to drop. Even if it seems like somebody's on a good run, something's going to come up. Do you kind of feel like that? Is, do you feel like that when you read a script that you're kind of like, okay, where's when's the shoe going to drop? I do. I often do, and I look forward to it. Now, is the relationship with Boyd, is it going to sustain this time, or is it going to be challenged in its own way? The relationship with Boyd is really challenged this season. Uh, it's hard, and you know he's doing the best he can out there, and she's doing the best she can inside. And I think because of the distance, uh, so to speak, it's it's rough on both of them. Yeah. Is there an upside at all to her being in prison? Is there an upside? I think so. I think she discovers a lot of things about herself. I mean, Ava's pretty lost spiritually, and, and um, she has to find some kind of spirituality, whatever that means. And you'll see um, in the season, and, and that will help her survive. You know, you've been on the show for so long. Is there anybody that you really haven't worked with enough that you would like to have more scenes with? Yeah, I'm... Uh, I, I, I never really get to do scenes with the Marshalls, but I guess that's because our worlds don't collide. But I love them as people and actors. Um, and, and I think if I make it to season six, I need to do more scenes with Tam. You know, things happen. But I love working with Walden, so I'm very blessed. Fingers crossed you make it to season six. Thank you.